Jesus calls knowledge a key in Luke 11.52. Also we find that God's people perish for lack of knowledge in Hosea 4.6. According to 1 John 2.20, But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. In 1 Corinthians 2.16 we learn that we have the mind of Christ. Philippians 2.5 states, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. This is vital to our warfare. We must allow the Lord's thoughts to be our thoughts. This is an important key in receiving the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we need so much. We are told to judge not in Luke 6.37. The counsel of the Word of God tells us to be merciful in verse 36. These are keys to peace and avoiding the prospect of judgment upon our lives. This would, of course, help us in our spiritual warfare. We can war in confidence when our hearts are pure and our minds are at peace because of the avoidance of judgment in our lives. Galatians 5.1 tells us, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Part of verse 13 tells us, But by love serve one another. We are to walk in the Spirit with the promise that ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Verse 16 carries this promise. The fruit of the Spirit is very important. They are love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. There is no law against these. They are found in verses 22 and 23. Charity never fails. Charity is the selfless loving and caring for others. It is the giving of oneself for another, putting others before ourselves, and giving cheerfully to the needs of others. It is God's perfect love manifesting in His people. Love is a key to working faith. Check out Galatians 5.6. For too long the church has been divided. We must love one another and show the world that we are one as the Lord prayed we would be in John 17.21. The key to this unity is the glory given to Jesus that He gave to us, mentioned in verse 22. The Bible has many keys and spiritual weapons in it to help us to come forth victorious in the many battles that we must fight. The joy of the Lord is your strength, according to Nehemiah 8.10. A merry heart does good like a medicine, according to Proverbs 17.22. It is important for health as we fight the fight before us. We should know that faith works well in peace. Worry hinders faith. We are given a measure of faith and may grow from faith to faith. There is also the gift of faith mentioned among the nine gifts of the Spirit. Peace is the opposite of worry, which is a form of fear. We realize that fear has torment. Therefore, peace is very important to our spiritual preparedness. Long-suffering is important to success. Many have lost great opportunities with people by not suffering the trials of discipleship. Gentleness is a quiet, powerful weapon against the dart of wrath. Proverbs 15.1 tells us, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. This is truly a weapon against the wrath of man. It is a defensive weapon that all Christians should know in their lives and ministries. Actually, it is also an offensive weapon in that wrath turns away. Therefore, it is defeated. We know that goodness is a great witness to the life of a believer. It shows the change that Christ makes in the lives of His people. This is important to the word of our testimony, which is a part of our overcoming this world.